The name of the brand obviously is the marathon. It just stands for endurance. It stands for staying down. It stands for like not quitting, accepting the ups and downs of whatever game you commit yourself to and riding it out because that's the reality of success or greatness that it come with a roller coaster ride. Hello, 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 beauties. I hope y'all looking good, doing good and feeling fantastic as I am. I'm currently in Virginia waiting to get loaded and then head back to North Carolina. But as y'all can see by the title, we did a thing. My youngest sister and I traveled abroad. We went to Africa, the continent, not the country. Some people confuse that, but you can't be mad at what you don't know. And we end up traveling to Ghana, the country, on March 2nd. We stayed almost about two weeks. The trip was eventful. If there's one word I can use to sum it up, the trip was eventful. We ended up meeting our father who was out there. He does live in the States, but also has residency in Ghana. And the last time I went to Ghana, I was eight years old. It's been well over 25 years I traveled with my mom. So this time around, I'm older, wiser. It was a cultural experience to remember. This video is not going to be an hour long, 30 minute long video because for one, I have to be mindful and considerate that everyone is not into that. And I also have to be mindful that when it comes to recording out there with the locals, it's not something favorable. So I'm cautious of what I say and what I show. So if you feel like this video is lacking, please feel free to DM me or email me and I'll try to get, I'll try my best to get back with the information that you are looking for. But travel, man, for real, traveling does something to us, it does. Other than that, I'm a truck driver. Much of the content within this video is driving related. And let's get into the video, man. <laughs> do what you love, love what you do. Let it work best for you. Don't forget, as I place great emphasis on this, take time off. Take time off to yourself. Detox as long as the priorities are in order. Whether it's retail therapy, going to a game, beach amusement park whatever case may be take time out to yourself because we are not robots at the end of the day we're not be on the lookout for my next post tuesday 5 p.m first tuesday in april no longer sunday 8 a.m i said that in my last video but let's get into the video aside from your passport you will need your visa and your yellow fever vaccine if i can recall my visa took anywhere from two weeks to a month the application was done in the D.C. office. My father lives in the DMV area. I believe the application was about $100. Please do not quote me. As far as my clinical visits went, I went to Carolina Express in Charlotte, North Carolina, off of Park Road. Very efficient. On the government state website, it shows that you need a COVID test. But, in fact, no one asked me for proof of my test when I got there so I think that's more so up to your own discretion and of course rules and regulations change at any time we flew American Airlines also British Airways operated by American Airlines we had a four hour 50 minute layover in London we end up having to switch airports which was an hour away London Gatwick from London Heathrow coming back we did not have to switch airports which was a1 only a three hour and ten minute layover in our cry our uncle picked us up and our father was already there very lively very warm we landed roughly about 6 p.m and we are heading to our father's house for the first time normally whenever i'm traveling i get an airbnb or hotel at my own comfort so this time it was different as far as the currency goes as y'all can see on the screen Anywhere from $100 to even $300, $400 will do you great justice. A week to a whole month. You do not need a lot. The currency is cities, and it really just depends on how you're managing or budgeting your funds. But a little does go a long way. And as y'all can see on the screen, literally $100 to $200 is more than enough on this trip. I was informed much of their equipment is transported from China. Mainly cab overs, if not like 95% cab overs. I saw, I think, maybe one truck that had an extended hood. I think it was an international, if I can remember, flatbed. 
and it's very interesting I will say in terms of like the differences between being over there and driving over here over there no way stations no scales checkpoints barely okay we're talking about overweight strap with ropes and go and just move at your own risk I'm telling you driving over there and from what it seems to be is you better be prepared and then I did notice a lot of people or a few people end up working on their own equipment in case of any breakdowns or tire changes they had their own toolbox by the side of the road very equipped so there's there are some differences between there and here for sure I didn't really notice major truck stops, but more so, I guess, gas stations for some of the drivers to rest or have some downtime. Some of the back history, the population is 33,346,450 as of 2023. This West African country bordering to the east is Togo and to the west is Ivory Coast. My brother-in-law is Togolese and he speaks French. Many of the natives in Ghana speak tree with different intonations, of course. And some really do speak English and understand English fluently. Some of the tribes are Fante, Ewe, Gan, Hausa, Dagomba, Guan, Ashanti. We are part of the Ashanti region. Yes, yes, yes. As far as the independence go, Ghana gained. Ghana was the first country to gain its independence March 6, 1957, under Prime Minister Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. We did see the university in Kumasi and the statues, so beautiful. My apologies, I didn't get images of that. Some interesting facts as far as some of the naming goes from male and female, they stem from the days of the week. So from Sunday to Saturday, Sunday being Kwasiada, Monday Ajwada, Tuesday Avnada, Wednesday Okwada, Thursday Yauda, Friday Fiada, Saturday Memnada. The males from Sunday to Saturday, Kwasi, Kwajo, Kwabna, Kweku, Yao, Kofi, Nekwame. The women... Sunday to Saturday, Akosia, Ajwa, Abna, Ekia, Ya, Efia, Ama. As y'all can see, it flooded very bad when it rained. The drainage system is not up to par. I ended up getting my hair done for the Lolo and, of course, watching her admire herself. <laughs> but this is the kitchen, my father's kitchen. A quick glimpse of what the kitchen looks like every kitchen does not look like this of course but just for some of those interested to see what the kitchen looks like that's what it looks like end up capturing some nice scenery outside the weather was over 95 every day we were there it was very warm and some of the views were very scenic which i love 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 yeah one thing I think that my sister mentioned later on in the video, she would have preferred to stay in a hotel and have that service. We didn't eat out. We were told by our uncles, you know, not to really indulge in the street food. So we ate home all the time. We ate out one time. This is the repellent I use when I go, especially to Jamaica here. Normally, to make I use an actual clear bottle. In someone's backyard, you see a whole farm. <laughs> Goats, chickens, hens, everything just waking you up. You do not need an alarm clock. A rooster will wake you up, but it's quite a view. It is. This is Joshua. My parents were born and raised in Joshua, and they had some pretty places to capture yeah born and raised out there and i got to see where they both grew up for the first the woman who was taking care of us most of the time put me on this drink manufactured in nigeria it's amazing very healthy and she gave me a token of appreciation or i guess going away 
women understand each other best. What do you think was your, the highlight of your experience? Literally back to work the next day. 